what's the only character death more memorable than an epic, heroic sacrifice at the end of a campaign? Some random BS so stupid that it actually hurts. You know what I'm talking about, that story you're smirking about right now. Yeah, you listening in. Don't cheap out. Tell us, what's the dumbest way you've ever had a D&D character die? Leave yours in the comments below. Well, this wasn't me, but when I was DMing, I had my players stuck in a city in a bottle. One of them escaped and found out that the bottle was a torture chamber for them, and the other heroes who tried to overthrow the king, each of them being trapped in their own personalized hell within the bottle. So, what did my player do? He grabbed a random bottle. Thank God the other players weren't inside of that one, and he bit it. His body was ripped to shreds when the city took its regular size again. Inside his fucking mouth. That was my funniest way a player has died in one of my campaigns. Us D&D players can never really get enough. Whether you play three times a week or once a month, part of you always craves more. We get our fix however we can, by watching short stories online, D&D live streams, Baldur's Gate. Well, allow me to offer you something new. The best available follows a party of new adventurers trying to make a name for themselves in hopes of being sponsored in a competition. Waterdeep's Festival of Heroes, which sees the chosen parties delving into the depths of Under Mountain, risking life and limb to suppress the evils and monsters below to protect the city above. The Dungeon of the Mad Mage is filled with danger, treasure, glory, and mysteries yet to be revealed. Come watch the journey from humble beginnings into heroic legends as we adapt a campaign years in the making into an illustrated web series with art from Doodle Poodle, author of Tales from the Tables. We pride ourselves in converting hours-long sessions into smoothly paced episode with limited animation, music, blood, sweat, and tears. Get in on the ground floor of something great and join the Forever DMs table today. Link in the description. So when I first started DMing, I was pretty hesitant to kill a player off, but they should have died this way. The group was exploring an abandoned ghost ship in Arctic waters, filled with traps and pitfalls and weak floorboards. One PC decided to go off on his own completely unnecessarily. He fell far down into freezing water and failed a number of saves trying to climb out, as well as con saves partially because he kept trying to retrieve a magical lantern that he'd found. So, after a while, his body gave out, and he drowned. Or he would have had I not been too scared to kill a PC, like four to five sessions into my first campaign. Instead, I had some deep, mysterious entity save him. In the end, the campaign didn't last for many reasons. The other did. I was doing two at once my first go around. At least the other is still going strong 60 sessions in. Dang, that's a long time. So, I'd like to think that he died that day. Alone and freezing and stupid as can be. Here, picture this scene. A large Goliath monk, a small rocky outcrop, a balcony above a sheer drop, beyond the face of the cliff, and a party member trapped behind a door beyond. The quickest route? A 15-foot jump with no safe ground to push off. The monk, only level 5, goes for it. Rolling a natural 1 on the athletics check, she slips on the rocks as she makes the run up, and finds herself plummeting 300 feet to the ground below. That was the dumbest way I died, but oh, it gets better. The party take a longer route to the trapped friend and, on their return, find the monk missing. It doesn't take them long to piece together what happened, and then the cleric decides that they need to make sure my monk is okay. They start climbing down the cliff face without any climbing gear! Not even 50 feet down, they lose their grip and fall to their death alongside the monk. I swear, if everyone becomes a lemming and starts jumping off the cliff after them, I will laugh. This was over 20 years ago, while I was playing 2nd edition. I was a jester, and my party, 9th to 11th level or so, was assaulting the Big Bad's fortress, and I had a wand of wonder. In the old rules, a jester had a 5% chance of controlling what came out of that wand per level. I was 10th or so, so it would be about 50-50. And it used no charges. 
Pre-fight, I got our mage to cast Fly on me. I made my Control the Wand roll and cast Reduce on myself. So I am five inches tall. Then I made another Control the Wand roll and cast Invisibility on myself. Round one. I fly up to the fortress window. My party starts smacking the guards at the entrance, alerting the big bad that we are here. Naturally, he runs to a window. Round two. I made my control the wand roll and cast lightning bolt on the big bad, making me visible. He cast dispel magic on me, which took out the fly spell, but not the reduction spell. The party looks up to see what the fuck I am doing. Round three. I made my control the wand roll yet again and cast lightning bolt again. The big bad steps over and swats me off the window ledge about a uh, hundred feet in the air. I am currently falling. The party just chuckles a bit and whispers to themselves that they knew the wand was trouble. Round four. I reason that I can take the falling damage and I know the big bad is right inside the window. So I try to cast fireball right outside the window to catch him. I fail my control roll and summon a goddamn rhinoceros directly above little five inch tall me, a hundred feet in the air. The play just stopped. The DM almost passed out as he was laughing so hard. Most ridiculous and yet fitting end to a jester that I could ever think of. All thanks to some random dice. So we had just started this new 5th edition game, a rogue, a bard, a barbarian, and a wizard, all level 1. We go to the sewers where there are rats. Lots of rats! Rats are impervious to slashing, bludgeoning, and piercing damage. There are three rat swarms, three giant rats, and a were-rat. So some unlucky rolls later and the bard and the wizard are the only ones who come running back out of the sewers. The GM thankfully allowed some magic user city guard NPCs to come in and resurrect the fallen party members. We all now have fear of rats on our sheets. Just last night, I was DMing a game where our level 7 cleric met his untimely demise in the most ridiculous way I have ever seen. He had bought a ton of mystery potions from some sketchy magic shop. The way it was going to work was I would roll a D100 and determine the effect of the potion on a table that I made from a combo of my own creations and various sources on Reddit. This was your first mistake. Well, instead of having someone use something like identify to figure out the potion's effects, he decided to drink all of them in a row. So. After drinking a few and getting crazy results, he wound up drinking one that turned him into a cabbage. With eyes, a mouth, an AC of two, and HP of four. He then drank one giving him vulnerability to fire, and then he drank another one giving himself arms with a 10 foot long reach. Then he drank one that gave him six temporary HP. So now he was effectively at 10 HP. But then he drank another one that lit him on fire doing eight damage. Then the last one he drank did 2d6 poison damage and wound up killing him outright. So now the group was faced with dealing with their friend, who was now nothing but a burnt and wilted dead cabbage with extendo arms, in the middle of the room, in an inn. This was a 3.5 game. We were 4th level and were exploring a dungeon that we discovered had a large fire elemental guarding the thing we needed to collect. So, naturally, we rested, had all the spellcasters in the party prepare specifically for that encounter, and off we went. I was playing a ranger, high five, and was one of the two melee characters in the party. Both I and the fighter got resistance to fire cast upon us, along with other buffs like bull's strength. We went in and started smacking the elemental for all we were worth, while the spellcaster stayed behind us and popped it with spells. The cleric kept healing us, which was helping enough to keep us alive as we wilted away at its HP. It having DR5 slash negative and immunity to crits was making it hard to get decent hits in. And then the cleric, who was unfortunately played by a fairly ditzy person, lost her train of thought. 
Well, instead of healing me like she'd been doing, I knew she had plenty of spells left, she announced that she was going to charge, despite having no combat buffs and not being a character who was very good at combat anyway. So she promptly got smacked by the elemental and to a lot of fire damage while getting a single hit in that didn't even penetrate the creature's DR. It immediately focused its attacks on her and took her down in one round, then returned its attention to me and proceeded to kill my character because I was no longer receiving any sort of healing support. And that's why I died, because the healer had a blonde moment. <laughs> I was a third level paladin who was fighting a rogue and his demon friend, and my sorcerer companion thought it was just a good idea to <laughs> let the rogue talk and put me to sleep. Needless to say, the rogue took the opportunity to kill me while I slept, and then his demon friend killed the sorcerer. I sat there in shock and looked over to the player who was the sorcerer and he just said, Um, sorry. Yeah, sorry you ain't gonna cut it there, Jimbo. It was an old school game with straight 3d6 stat roll generation. I was a first level wizard with a meager two hit points. Enter, horrifying kobolds with daggers. <gasps> I gotta get out of here. Must escape down handy dandy stairs. Ah nuts, the kobolds have seen home alone apparently, have rope strung across the top of the stairs. Fail my deck save, ah nuts. Tumble, roll, b -b 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 bounce Fast forward to the bottom of the stairs. Roll d4, take three points of damage. I never woke up. <laughs> I had just created a half-orc that was really well thought out. Probably my favorite character yet. Vampire bites my half-orc. I lose 18 damage, but I'm not killed outright. Forgot I had Relentless and should have dropped to one. But instead, my first session with Heil goes wayside. Thankfully, our bard saved me, but that was a long night of thinking what could have happened. High five to the bard. It was a tremendously large group, three tables each, working on separate parts of a finale of a long running campaign. My table held off the big bad so that everyone else had an easier time with their parts. Then table two completed their part then, Table 3 killed the NPC who would have assisted them in completing their part due to previous transgressions. Since they couldn't complete their part, the world tree that was being reborn grew out of control and killed 20 plus PCs. The finale of a year-long campaign was a total player kill, or total party kill, because one player convinced their team to kill the NPC they had a personal grievance with. I had a bead of force in my mouth, just in case things went sideways, so I crunched down on that rather than be crushed by the world tree. Hey everybody, Brian Von VA checking in after the vid. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, ring that bell, and let us know in the comments below what was the dumbest way you died or saw someone die or had an NPC die at your table. We love you all. See you next time. Bye for now.